12 macro FRQ number three. Assume that the economy of Anderson land is in a long run equilibrium with full employment. Nominal wages are fixed. Draw a correctly labeled graph of short run, long run, and aggregate demand Y1, PL1. So we're in long run equilibrium. So aggregate supply, short run aggregate supply. That's supposed to be full employment. There we go. Price level, real GDP. What did they say? The PL1, Y1. All right. I think we're good. Assume there is an increase in exports for Anderson Land. On your graph in Part A, show the effect of the higher exports on the equilibrium in the short run. Uh, Y2, PL2. So an increase in exports shifts aggregate demand. Up. Price level would go up. PL2, Y2. So good so far. Based on your answer in Part B, what is the impact of higher exports on real wages in the short run? Understand that anytime price levels go up, uh, real wages have to go down. Your real wage is your amount of purchasing power. What you can actually put in your grocery cart is your purchasing power. So if your price level goes up, less groceries go into your cart, your purchasing power would go down. And we would explain it just that way in that uh, real wages would fall as your purchasing power has decreased. Uh, D, as a result of the increase in exports, um, export-oriented industries in Anderson land increase spending or expenditures on new container ships and equipment. What component of aggregate demand will change? Well, uh, container ships and equipment are capital goods. Capital goods tend to be in the investment category. So out of C plus I plus G plus XN, um, there is an increase in exports. That's tricky, right? Because then they want you to choose that category. Uh, but they say that there's an increased spending on container ships and equipment. Those are capital goods. So I think investment here is your category that you want to choose. What is the impact on long-run aggregate supply? Well, this one is a little bit further away. We know there's more capital goods. Um, we know there's more investment. Investment went up, capital goods or capital formation increased. If we have more capital formation, might we have more long run growth? And that's exactly what we know. Your long run aggregate supply curve will shift to the right. Understand that your long run aggregate supply curve is the same curve as your PPC. They are the exact same curve. They show the same things. So if your long-run aggregate supply curve is shifting to the right, your PPC must be shifting out. One of the things that shifts out your PPC or your long-run aggregate supply curve to the right is more capital formation. So more investment, more capital formation means more long-run growth. Your long-run aggregate supply curve shifts to the right. Your PPC would shift out or to the right. Um, the only other way they could say this, I think they've used the words potential GDP before. Potential GDP obviously increased. They could say long run growth. They could say economic growth. All of these are different ways of saying the same thing. So economic growth, long run growth, long run air supply, PPC or potential GDP. All of those would have increased right, or shifted to the right increase. Um, okay, guys, be safe. Take care. Bye.